is Sherry with Sharon Sherry, and we are here for week number one of the Fabulous Folds Card Hop, sponsored by myself and Renee at Wanna Scrap. I am so excited about this hop. It's been a lot of fun creating this card. There are a lot of very talented ladies that are participating in the hop, and all their channels are in the description box below, so please please be sure and check out all of them. Um, they do fantastic work and you won't be disappointed. So basically what the hop is about, it's running all the month of June, every Saturday. So that'll be four videos from each of the participants and we're creating a card with some kind of a special fold. So each card will be unique by each um, participant. So like I said, please go and check everybody out. So I will be having a small giveaway on my particular channel and what you have to do is be a subby, number one, be a subby, a visible subby. I, I need to be able to see that you have sub to my channel. Number two, like each of the hop videos on my channel. And number three, comment on each of the hop videos on my channel. I'm not sure exactly what the giveaway is going to be yet. It's, it's nothing extravagant, but it will be a little giveaway that I will be having at the end of the hop. So, um, this is my creation for week one, and this paper is made out of Kay & Company. I think it's the Susan Wingetts. Susan Wingetts? Uh, let me make sure I'm saying that right. Yes, I am. Susan Wingetts, and um, I used a doily that I crocheted. It's not very good, but hey, hey, it worked for the card. And I used just some basic um, butterfly stickers and some um, cardstock. And this cardstock is um, just some something I got from Hobby Lobby or, or Michaels. It's just kind of the um, just a, a light beige cardstock. So here's the front of the card and this little bloom here I had it didn't go with the collection but I had it in my stash I'm not even sure where I got it from and this is just some butterfly stickers that I had this is a die cut piece that um, is from the collection I just took my Sizzix die and cut out this little oval piece here and this right here is a belly band um, so I normally with a belly band you slide the card on and off uh, there's a lot of cuts on the front of this card so I didn't want it to snag so I actually put a magnet in the back so this is a magnetized belly band and here's that paper from the back um, from Hobby Lobby that's the the cardstock so it just has that little magnet um, and I just ran another strip of the pattern paper over the magnet, glued the doily and these pieces on, on the front. So you take off the belly band and this is what the card is all folded up. And I think this is called a tea bag fold, I'm not sure, or napkin fold, napkin fold. And on each of these corners, oh I didn't I did want to mention that I have a short tutorial at the end. It's not very detailed, but it is a little tutorial to help you create what I created here. And these little pieces were folded back and folded back in. I used my I think it was a Martha Stewart um, corner punch on these. I was going to put some little pearls, but again with the belly band I didn't want things to get stuck. So you take this and you open it up like so, it unfolds, and then inside um, I took that same corner punch here and I punched all four corners and I added some um, pearls, some little pearls here. I added a piece of lace in the back and I these were from the ephemera pack from one of the K and Company packs uh, this bird and this um, I think these are cherry blossoms uh, this is a little die I had from I think it was Aliexpress and I cut it several times and layered it up and I just ran some of the ink around the outside which I did to all the edges of the card it was just some Marvy matchables ink that went with the color of the collection 
so I inked the hello up just a little bit and then I, of course like I said I distressed all the edges of the card so that and then this piece opens this way and then here's the inside of the card and I just left it blank you can stamp a sentiment in here or whatever you um, wish to do you can put some more stickers or cut die cuts whatever you want inside of here <clears throat> so that is my creation and I had a lot of fun making it and I can't wait till next week I do hope you like this um, and I hope you give it a try again the tutorial will be right after this so please give it a try and if you do I would love for you to link your project or your video to to this video so I can go over and see um, what you created so again please visit all the ladies in in the hop and their names are in the description box below or their channels and like subby and comment you'll be entered in my giveaway thanks for watching toodles oh and stay tuned for the tutorial if you want to hugs everybody bye Okay, so what you're going to do for this folded card is you're going to start out with a 10 by 10 piece of paper. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I am using one that does not have a double-sided pattern. Um, if you use the double-sided pattern, you're going to show see both both uh, patterns on the front of the card once it's folded up. But for the purpose of this tutorial, again, I'm just going to use. Uh, one-sided pattern paper so this is 10 by 10 and what you're gonna do you can use your scoreboard um, it's probably better if you do but I am just going to fold mine for now these these folds need to be very precise or the card won't fit together um, correctly so I'm taking my ruler and I am just going to find the center of this piece of paper so I'm at the 10 inch mark or the five inch mark in between the two and I'm just gonna draw a line here this way so I can see the center um, the center vertically and I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to measure the other way at the five inch mark one two three four one two three four five and I am going to make sure this is all squared up and I am going to find that mark. So, in between the two marks here is the very center of my 10 by 10 paper. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to fold in both sides. So really this is at the two and a half mark. Oh, oops, sorry. So what I did is just match that up to that line. This is two and a half. I'm going to fold this, match that up to this other line right here, right on there, and I'm going to fold that. I'm going to repeat on these sides, just matching that up here, and flip around and match this side up to that center like so okay so now everything should meet perfectly in the middle if you were to fold this up like so okay does that make sense all right so now here's your here's your score lines and you of course you probably want to use looking for my bone folder your bone folder to crease those and of course I can't find mine where are you well, here's one. This isn't the one I usually use, but that's okay. Yeah, it'll work. So make sure those are nice and creased. Okay. Now you're going to take the corners and you're going to meet those up to that center score line. So if you're seeing here that cross that I made with my pen mark, I'm going to go right up in there as perfect as I can. And I am going to crease this corner. 
Now this is very thin pattern paper, so it might not be as easy with some thicker pattern paper. And you're going to repeat that on all four sides, four corners. Go ahead and crease that. Sorry guys, my allergies are bothering me. Crease here. And crease here. Mm. Now, see, I wanted to avoid this, but I am overlapping just a hair right there. But it is what it is. So, now, so here's all your fold lines. Now, these I'm going to fold actually back the other way. I'll show you why in a second. Okay. So, now when you bring in your corners, you're going to bring these two pieces in like this because you want this corner on the outside. So there's your first corner. Bring these in like so. Just bring them in to where this corner is on the outside here. Bring that in. Bring these in and then that last one will pop into place. So this is what you got. So when you open up the card, you're going to put, this is, should be five by five, five by five. So you can take another piece of cardstock, colored cardstock, pattern paper, whatever you want to do and cover this part. And then what you can do is take a border punch. I don't have a large border punch, but you can take a border punch like this, cut your corners. And then that second piece of pattern paper will, will show through. Or you can flip these up like this. And then you're going to take, this was a 12 by 12 piece, so I saved the 2 inch piece that I cut apart. And you can make a belly band. You don't have to use the same pattern paper. But if it's double sided pattern paper, it would be really pretty to wrap that around like that. And then you'll put your decorative element right here. So if I take my corner punch, I wish I had a bigger one. Uh, hang on, I'm going to see if I have a bigger one. Just a minute, please. Okay, I have this one. It's a little bit more decorative than this one. This is the Martha Stewart. Um, I don't know what is this, this punch. So I'm going to go ahead and punch my corners. So now, when I fold these back up, I have this little decorative edge here. I am going to experiment with some of my die cuts and see if, I don't know how I would do it to, to get these corners through my machine. I don't know if this is going to be too wide or not. I don't know how I would do that, but I will try it and see if I can come up with something because this corner punch is not going to show real well. And plus, or you can even fold these back like so. And then you'll have glue them or do whatever. And then like that, take your belly band and this is what it will look like when you put your deck and you can put a decorative element on there, a circle or flower or something like that. So I have made this tutorial before I made my actual card, so this is going to be fun to see what paper I can use and how it's going to turn out and what die cuts I can maybe use on the corners. So 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please try it out. If you do, would you please send me a link to your video if you post one or a picture so that I can see what you guys created with this little tutorial. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Toodles.